So today we have you the expected Apple M1X iMac release date and price as we're expecting a full live launch of the 2021 iMacs at the Apple Spring Loaded event and then for them to be available to purchase on April 23. I want to share all the details of this and a summary of everything we know so far for them. Hi, it's Matt here. So we're expecting the new iMax with the whole new design. The 2021 iMax will have an Apple Silicon M1X chipset inside, which is built on the foundations of the M1 chipset. Today, we're going to cover the new 2021 iMax release date and price details, how the M1X will be different to the M1, and of course, the iMax new design. So right away, the good news is, if you've been following my channel and other media, Apple Spring event is finally coming, called Spring Loaded, and this is when we know the release date is near. We're expected to see lots of new Apple products shown at this event, including the new iPad Pro, new iPad Mini, new AirTags, and also the possibility of the new 2021 iMacs with M1X inside. In fact, if you want to know more information about those other Apple products, check out my other videos on here and also make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell as I'll be giving my full review for them when they come out and tips videos for all the new Apple products when they come available. But anyway, with the Apple Spring Lows of the event being on April 20th, we believe that Apple will be releasing its products on Friday, April 23rd. Now, why this day, you may ask? Well, let's take 2020 for example. So for example, right near the beginning of the year in March time in 2020, we had Craig show us the 2020 iPad Pro on March 17th, what was a Tuesday? But the day of release was actually on Friday the 20th. Then for iPad the 8th generation and the Apple Watches in 2020, we had an event on September 15th, what was a Tuesday, but the release again was a few days later on Friday the 18th. Then the iPhone 12 models were shown off on October 13th, what was a Tuesday, and I guess, I guess you can believe what day they came out on. It was a Friday. Do you want me to tell you what day the M1 Max came out? Well, you probably guessed it. It was the release of a Friday date. But even if you go back over, let's say, the last three years, basically, Apple have released the majority of its products on a Friday, and most of those Fridays are straight after the event earlier in that week. So we believe, as the Spring Lows event is on April 20, so we think the release date for most of their products are likely to be on April 23rd. For price though, we're expecting a new 24 inch design iMac this year and I'll share all the details about this in the mo. But sticking with the price for the new 24 inch iMac, we're expecting this iMac to start just above the cost of the 4K entry i3 21.5 inch iMac, so 1300 US dollars, but we think it will release at 1400 US dollars, but you'll get that new M1X chipset inside it and a 24 inch design display. Now you might think this is going to cost you more money and of course it will but you are getting a bigger display and you're also going to get a far superior chipset and I'll tell you more about that in a mo. Just quickly though guys one thing I love to do on this channel and that is doing a giveaway and in fact I'm doing a giveaway right now for this. It is for an iPhone SE in space grey and a 64 gigabyte version. I am doing an international giveaway to give this away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 170,000 subscribers. And all I want to know from you guys in the comments below is what Apple products are you planning on buying this year and what Apple products are you most looking forward to coming out in 2021? And put those in the comments below. And like I say, when we get over 170,000 subscribers, I'll be announcing who the winner is, but make sure you, you've subscribed yourself and hit that notification bell to find out if you will be the lucky winner in an upcoming video. But let's talk about the design first. So for the design, the external design of the iMac hasn't really changed that much in say about 13 years since it's all metal design. 
Yes, we've had 4K screens and even 5K screens drop in, and also the back of the actual iMac has actually got slimmer and more rounder, but apart from that, not much has really changed. The new 24-inch iMac that is to replace the 21.5-inch iMac is rumoured to break that cycle and offer an all-new design that fits in with the likes of the new iPhone 12 models and the iPad Pros and Air Design and other model devices. According to John Prozer, a major Apple leaker who has normally been bang on the money with his leaks, he has said the new iMacs are going to come in some brand new colours and these colours are going to be looking very similar to the range that was offered with the current iPad Air models. So this is likely that pink and that green and those blue colours that were available at the end of last year. However, we'll be still getting the traditional silver and we'll also be getting that space grey colours as well. For the actual design though, it is looking likely that the full design of the new iMac will be very similar to the current Mac Pro XDR monitor that is available. Luckily, we won't also get that huge price tag as well, what you get with the XDR monitor. However, what this does mean is the new iMac will not have a big chin underneath it anymore, and on the front of it, it will look like just a large widescreen monitor. John Prozer again has shown us some ideas what he believes this will look like and you can see that in the concepts right here with the different colours and also that chin also missing. Now I've been talking about the new 24 inch model a fair bit and you're probably wondering what is going on with the 27 inch model. Well like the previous major iMac refresh only one model will likely be updated in the first year with the other model updates coming later on. Rumours point to the 24-inch display iMac will get the redesign first and then a later update to the larger 27-inch iMac could also be updated but this will be updated to a 30-inch model but don't expect that in 2021. There is a belief that basically the 30-inch iMac will become the new iMac Pro range or something else, something called differently compared to the normal iMac. The iMac Pro has just been discontinued on Apple's website and we believe this is what this 30-inch model will replace. But we'll get onto that in another video at another time. But for the 24 inch screen iMac, the actual screen of that iMac, there is little reason for the resolutions to change from the 21.5 to 24 inch, as 4K at 24 inches will maintain the retina pixel density. However, Apple could use the improved color accuracy technologies found in the Pro Display XDR in the 24 inch iMac. Reports from Min Chi Kao suggest a move to mini LED across the Mac line, which would also allow for better contrast and color recreation closer to the performance of an OLED. And we might just see that in this iMac. Moving on to the ports on the rear though, the 2017 iMac Pro changed the connections from USB-A to USB-C with Thunderbolt 3 supports, and these were basically the only ports you found on the back. The 24-inch iMac will likely have a similar port arrangement, likely with the adoption of USB 4 and also, of course, Thunderbolt 4. So performance, Apple Silicon came out last year with shockingly good performance and efficiency in the late 2020 MacBook Air, 13-inch MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini with the M1 chipset. As Apple moves forwards into its two-year transition to Apple Silicon in its Macs, it is unlikely the company would include 10th generation Intel processors in a redesigned iMac. Apple still sells Intel-based models of the 13-inch MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini, but their last generation models filling with higher-end tiers until Apple releases Apple Silicon with even more power than what's inside the M1. A rumour from earlier in 2020 also says that the iMac Fusion drives will be abandoned also in these models coming up. Apple has moved to SSD-only configurations in every other computer it sells, with the iMac being the last to hold out with the drives inside it. An SSD would improve speeds across nearly every process on the machine as loading apps and documents from storage will be much more responsive. We also know that the new M1X processor is going to be a huge leap on the performance of the standard M1. 
it will gain a 12 core CPU and a 16 core GPU versus the standard 8 core CPU and 8 core GPU in the M1 right now. It could feature also 256 execution units rather than the M1's 128 and may be able to drive 3 displays at once instead of 2. Now a lot of you are wondering what does this mean and how powerful will the M1X be? As the M1 is very powerful, we're expecting gains of around 90% more speed. Let me give you an example why this is most likely the case. If we look at the A12X in 2018, what was in the iPad Pro versus an iPhone XS or the XS, what had the normal A12 inside, you can see that the A12X is about 90% faster than the standard A12. So really what I'm trying to say here is if we do get an M1X inside the new iMac, expect it to be around 90% more faster just like how the A12 to the A12X comparison was like. Just quickly though again, for that 27 inch model I was talking about earlier, I believe like I said we will not see this in 2021 and it's most likely we will see an update to this model in 2022 where we might even see an M2X chipset inside or an M2 chipset and I believe also that the Mac Pro will also be updated at the same time in 2022 with also this updated iMac so we'll have to wait and see what that will give us then. Well guys, that is the latest and greatest info we have on the iMac Apple Silicon line at this stage. If we do get any more news, of course we will share it with you. Don't forget if you have liked this video to press the like button and of course to hear the latest gaming, tech news, reviews and comparisons, please do hit subscribe followed by the bell. Until next time, see ya!